Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to the first episode of Gory Games, where we talk about real life murders, mysteries, and deception. In this episode, we're going to talk about a young woman who made a terrible mistake that cost her her son's life. A young mother was home taking care of her two sick children. The mother did everything possible to make her children better. She tried until the wee hours of the night until she decided to do something drastic. She called her cousin and asked if she could come and watch her children while she go to the store to get medicine at 1 a.m. in the morning. The cousin agreed to help her, but her son insisted that the mother take him along. The mother refused, but the boy yelled and screamed until the mother finally gave in. She loaded the sick child into the backseat of the car and headed to the local pharmacy. Finally, she reached the pharmacy, but she soon realized that her son fell asleep in the backseat of the car. Making a quick decision, she chose to leave her son to sleep in the car, but the doors unlocked and the keys in the ignition. She thought to herself she would only be in the store for a short while, but she did not see the men watching her, waiting for her to go into the store so they could make their move. The men slowly approached the car and found that the doors were unlocked and the keys were in the ignition. Two of the three men quickly jumped into the car and sped off, with the other man following closely behind. The men drove the car for a while and realized that there was a child in the back seat and he had woken up. The child was shaking with fear heart racing, wondering what's going on and where was his mother. The men spotted the boy in the back seat and quickly began to panic. As the men argued about what to do, the young boy sat teary-eyed, heart racing, paralyzed by fear. He knew he was in danger. He didn't want to upset the man driving the car, so he sat as stiff as a board, afraid to wipe the tears from his eyes. The men decided to pull over and the third man pulled up closely behind. All three men got out of the cars and surrounded the boy like rabid dogs that have tasted blood for the first time. Still, the boy did nothing, scared to move. Tired of all the yelling, one of the men pulled out a gun and fired one shot into the head of the child. He continued to shoot multiple rounds into his body. The men ruthlessly left the child alone, on his own to die. Back at the pharmacy, the mother realized that her car was gone and she told the security guard that a car had been stolen. But she failed to tell the security guard that her son was in the back seat and that he was missing. She was so afraid to get into trouble that she sacrificed the safety of her own child in order to protect herself. Two hours had passed and she finally told the security guard about her missing son. Police scrambled to find the child, but before the Amber Alert was broadcasted, the child had been brutally murdered. The world stood still for her as her body fell to the ground in despair, crying and screaming for her son. But the boy could not answer. He couldn't tell his mom that he was okay. Because he wasn't. He was taken and killed by three men and betrayed by his very own mother that tried to protect herself instead of trying to save him. The men responsible for the murder were caught and are currently awaiting trial. This story is a brutal one and it shows you that there are monsters lurking around every corner, and when you least expect it, the monster will strike. Remember guys, stay awake, stay alert, and stay alive. Make sure that you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more real world stories. Until next time guys, I'll see you when the lights go out.